and welcome back to my channel where I'm going to quickly explain the optional class features provided by Tasha's Cauldron of Everything for the Barbarian class. If you did not see the video where I explained what the optional class features are, I highly recommend watching that video before you watch this particular video. It covers the basics of what types of optional features there are and goes over some of the terms that I will use in this particular video. To help you out, I've provided a link to that video in the description below. The Barbarian only gains two features that are considered additional features, meaning that you will receive them when you level up. However, they will only apply if and only if the Dungeon Master is allowing new features within their campaign or is not awarding them as part of some form of quest reward. Meaning that if they are given out as part of a quest reward, chances are you're not going to be able to choose them when you level your character up. The first optional feature is called Primal Knowledge, and it gives you the ability to become proficient in one of the following skills. Animal Handling, Athletics, Intimidation, Nature, Perception, or Survival. This feature is available for selection at both levels 3 and level 10, meaning that you can add a total of two new skill proficiencies to your character. And while we do need to adjust our character sheet, there's no need to add this particular feature to the actual Actions tab because we'll be modifying the features that exist within this Skills tab. Now you may have noticed that I'm using a level 20 Barbarian of the Berserker Path in order to actually showcase this particular video. And what would happen is, is because we have already got this character up to level 20, we'd be able to choose two out of this list of actual skills. We already have Athletics and Animal Handling, we also have nature and survival, so that really only brings us down to intimidation and perception as the two things that we're missing. So we would go through and add intimidation and perception as being proficient skills, for example. The second optional feature is called Instinctive Pounce, and you gain this at level 7. It gives you the ability to move up to 50% of your overall speed during the same bonus action that you enter Rage such that if you regularly are able to move 30 feet as part of your movement turn, you can advance 15 feet while enraging to close in on your opponent. There is, however, a bit of discussion going on about if it means that you gain extra movement during that bonus action, even if you've already burned through all of your movement for the current round. I would argue that it is, in fact, extra movement, because the wording does not put a restriction in place for if you've already moved during the round or if you are out of movement in total. To me, this means that if your character could move 30 feet during your normal movement action, your character could burst forward an additional 15 feet when they're enraging, giving your character a total of up to 45 feet of movement during that round. As this is simply additional movement, we don't really need to add this to our actions tab, but I do recommend doing so anyway. The reason for this is that a dungeon master may not necessarily have knowledge of what this feature's capabilities are. So as a result, you're going to want to be able to go through and quickly indicate to the Dungeon Master what it is and that you're actually using it while you're enraging. Because this is a Barbarian-based feature, we're going to throw it under the Barbarian grouping. Oops. And now that we have that in place, we can indicate to the Dungeon Master that we are now using this particular skill and if they question as to what that particular skill does, all you have to do is quickly drag and drop this over, and you don't have to go back to your Abilities tab, taking that time to find it in that, and then drag it into place. You're saving yourself a couple of steps. The last thing I want to go over is around the retraining capabilities that are available for the Barbarian and how you can use them. Due to the fact that there is no retraining feature that has been provided by the class itself, your character is going to fall to the default rules that are provided by Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. This will apply to things like changing any skill proficiencies, changing out a feature option that you had selected, as well as even changing your character's subclass. To understand how that works, I highly recommend watching the introduction video where I explain what optional features are. And this is because I've already gone over how those default rules work for character retraining, and it saves me the time of repeating it here. In conclusion, it's nice to see that a Barbarian is now capable of gaining additional skills alongside the other classes, as the Barbarian always seemed to be a little light, if you will, on that side of the scale. 
It is also nice to see that a barbarian can now move a little when enraged, as it does make sense to me that when your character is in such a state, there's a little bit of extra energy in play as your character is going to be full of adrenaline. A little bit of extra movement adds to the fantasy as to what an enraged character can do. But sadly, as there are only a couple of features that are added to this barbarian class, that brings us to the end of this particular video. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I wish to thank you for taking the time to watch this particular video. I hope you found it informative and useful to familiarizing yourself with Fantasy Grounds in general, and that you had fun in the process. If you found the video useful and you liked the content of the particular video, go ahead and click that like button to let me know. And if you have any questions specific to the topic covered by this particular video, or just have some comments in general, please feel free to post something in the comments section. I will do my best to respond to any questions that are asked. Additionally, I do release content quite regularly, and it's generally specific to Fantasy Grounds or 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons at this time. So if you'd like to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell to ensure that notification is sent to you when I release a new video.